What is inrush current and why is it important to be able to measure that? Well, inrush current on a motor is sometimes called the starting current or the locked rotor current. And this will increase as our device starts to age or our bearings need grease. It's also important to know how to do this so we can right size our transformers. So here we have the running current of this particular motor is at 2.4 amps. So what would you expect to see for a inrush current? Well, let's, to take an inrush current, I would turn on my meter to amps and I would need a clamp meter that has the ability to measure inrush. I hit the inrush button and then when my motor starts, I can get the inrush current. Now you see, typically people would think the starting current might be only two times the running current, but it's actually four to ten times the running current on a motor, so it's very important to know that this is happening. One of the unique things about Fluke technology that we design is the starting current actually needs to be looked at the first five cycles. If we just look at the first cycle, we'll have a reading that might be 18 amps, which is not a true inrush current. And as this, not only is the, the amplitude important, but also how long it takes to settle out. With a good inrush current, it settles out very quickly with a good motor. If we have a bad arranging device, it may take it quite a long time to settle out. So with Fluke technology, you will get the proper inrush current measurement, and it's very easy to use just by pressing a button. So I hope this shows you why it's very important to be able to measure your inrush current.